Kalen Schultz loves his pet. The Rawls County 4-H member calls his pet on wheels RoboDog. It started kind of as a pile of just Lego pieces and we turned it into a puppy. With the help of a sensor, the robot seeks out Kalen's voice. Schultz and other University of Missouri Extension 4-H children showcase their inventions at the Missouri State Fair Show Me Robots event. Robots, I think, gives you a good idea to get hands-on and be creative and build whatever you want, have fun playing with it. More than 300 Missouri youth are involved in after-school 4-H robotic projects, and each year that number keeps growing. MU Extension 4-H youth specialists say that's good news because studies show American students lag behind their peers in other countries in science and math. If we looked at the athletes that are trained, if all we had was gym class, would we expect world-class athletes? No, we have a whole system that goes beyond the classroom, and that's what we need to do for scientists and engineers. Some robots are designed for certain competitions. The Camden County 4-H team designed a robot that won a regional competition. We call her Jenny. She actually has a name. The robot can travel over rough terrain and be able to kick a soccer ball. The young engineers used automatic window motors from a Honda to put a little force behind those kicks. In building a robot, some people think that we have instructions and have a general idea. We don't. We have to start completely from scratch. It's innovative thinking that makes a scientist or engineer. You're learning it not by reading about it, you're learning it by doing it. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.